see right there is a massive school of redfish. Massive. I'm gonna try to get up close, see if we can snatch another one. I already got a nice one up from there. Oh, oh, shit. <sighs> Dude, Dude. My other camera failed. So this is kind of a, just a kind of emergency thing. My other camera ran out of batteries. And I got this massive school of redfish with some monsters in it, man. Oh, shit. What is up, y'all? What is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Buddha channel, APC Outdoors. Um, well, today is Monday and I dropped off my dad at the airport. He's on his way to vacation. So he's gonna be a week in the, uh, I'm not gonna say where because he's gonna film it and I wanna surprise you guys with it. So I almost spilled the beans there. But anyways, when, he's, when he comes back, he's gonna bring some beautiful footage of uh, where he's at and then I'll tell you guys all about it. So I'm not gonna spoil it for you. But anyways, he's out on vacation and he's actually in the plane as we speak, flying over to a beautiful paradise where he's gonna film most of the, you know, the activities that he's got planned, like some snorkeling. Um, he might be doing a little bit of scuba diving, I'm not sure, but anyways. Uh, so I came back early and we're gonna go do some fishing, guys. We're gonna do a little bit of top water fishing, which is what I love to do. Um, I haven't been out for a little bit, so, you know, between getting the boat wrapped and getting the sea dead done. Oh, and of course, by the way, I got the boat wrapped. Yes, that is done, and I filmed it. Um, so, you know, watch out for that video coming soon. Uh, took it over to the boys at uh, Novus Clips, and these guys did a phenomenal job. Wait until you guys see the wrap. It is beautiful. It's actually up on my YouTube, I mean, uh, my Facebook page. Um, so, if you guys visit the uh, El Puro channel, Facebook you're gonna see it haven't uploaded it yet to the uh, Instagram page man I gotta get better on these social media things right for me you know Facebook is a lot easier it's already on the phone and stuff like that but I totally forget to go into Instagram what I, what I want to start doing is, is I want to start taking pictures on Instagram and then I want to start sending them to uh, Facebook I think Instagram to Facebook transition is a lot easier than Facebook to Instagram and my boy Felix was telling me that so anyways the boat got wrapped. It looks freaking phenomenal. The flooring is done. It looks freaking mind-blowing. Right now, the tight water is looking beautiful. All I need to do is just the cushions. So I'm getting ready to do that. Um, I gotta get some work that I got that I gotta get out of the way, get paid, and move on on that. So that way, when I get that uh, money going, and I'm gonna look into getting all the cushions done. And then finally, I want to do the uh, the bimini top, not the bimini top, but the t-top uh, canvas. So anyways, guys, um, we're on our way to Pine Island. Um, I'm gonna put the Henry O in today. We're gonna shake the shake the bugs off the Henry O. Ha hasn't been out for a while, so now that dad's on vacation, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Henry O and uh, put some hours on the, on, the, uh, on the Yamaha. And we're gonna do a little bit of top water fishing. So stick around, guys, hang in there. I'll see you all in the water. All right, guys, so we are on the water. Yes, we're on the water. I put the boat in at the uh, Tropic Star boat ramp. It's only 10 bucks compared to Pineland. Pineland is $20. I can still gain access to some of the grounds that are off of Pineland, but I also have access to the uh, Northern Boquilla area, which sometimes is very productive as well. So here I have the opportunity to fish both areas and I get to save 10 bucks. Nothing wrong with that, right? So anyways, guys, I wanna thank everybody that has been following the channel. I want to thank you guys that have just subscribed. For you guys that uh, haven't subscribed, please consider doing so because we got some uh, pretty cool videos and we got some tutorials, some exploration videos. We got a little bit of everything. Maybe you guys will find something that you enjoy and you want to keep seeing it. So when you subscribe, what happens is you'll get a notification. Obviously, if you hit the notification bell button, you'll get a notification every time we put a new video out. Um, and you'll also be helping me out tremendously. So we got some exciting stuff happening, guys. I wrapped the Tidewater so it's got a custom wrap on it and I'll show you guys a video on that pretty soon here as soon as I get you know get on get out on the water um, I also have a video coming out of the guys who did the wrap uh, Novus Clips uh, these guys are awesome he's actually right next door to the guy that did the uh, the customs uh, the, the marine decking 
Um, they're actually related. So it's a family business, man. It's awesome. So show some love, support those guys. D Novus Marine, Novus Clips. If you want to get some marine decking done, if you want to get your boat wrapped, or your business, or your car, or whatever, um, come check those guys out because uh, they're probably one of the better ones in the area here, and they are super, super friendly and easy to work with. They're gonna give you a good price. They have good quality products, and um, I don't know, they're just cool, so I like them. So go check them out. The Novus Marine and Novus Clips. All right, guys, so we're making our way out of the Boquilla Cut. Um, oh, shit. There's a sunken boat. The uh, boat just went in the water there. Shit happens. Um, oh, which reminds me, the other day I took that out on this boat and I forgot to put the boat plug in. But apparently this thing is foam filled, so it doesn't sink. So that's great. Um, also, more exciting news, guys. I am planning on getting my captain's license. Yes, it's official. I am committed. So as soon as I'm done with this project, I am going down to the captain school and I'm getting my captain's license. So now you guys can come fish with me. That's right. I can take you guys offshore. I can bring you guys in here. Take you guys back country. So very excited, very excited. Uh, you know, I need to change my lifestyle. Like you probably heard in some of the videos. You know, um, I've been uh, I've been chasing. Uh, the dream of just being on the water 100% so between you know being a, a charter captain and getting a captain's license and um, real estate I think I'll be able to, to accomplish uh, what I'm what my goal is of being on the water 100% so um, stay tuned for that so I'll keep you guys updated on that as well all right so we're gonna go ahead and give it the gas and uh, see what we can find Look at that bluefish, baby. Wow. Guys, the fishing is heating up. It is officially heating up. This is a perfect example of what I was talking about. Perfect example. Whenever these guys are in town, that's 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 the cue right there. this one. 
Now, you know what this is? Especially for you guys from you guys from the northeast. I know you've seen these before and a lot bigger. Well, these guys they're called bluefish. I used to catch them off the pier in Miami when I was growing up on the east coast. I lived over there for a good part of my life and we used to fish the piers in the winter time and catch these bad boys. Well, a lot bigger than these. Um, they're pretty good eating. They're not, they don't keep really well in the, in the freezer. So it's something you want to eat the same day you catch. Um, I like to do like fish and, uh, and red sauce. And I, I like to use this guy. They're pretty tasty. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to go ahead and let this guy go so that he could live another day. So let's let him go. There he goes. All right, guys, what do you say we catch another one? Guys, what did I say I was gonna come out and do? Catch some trout? Okay. All right, all right, all right, okay, okay. Hey, 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 relax, 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 it's okay. Take it easy. Always be careful handling these things, okay? I got some sharp ass hooks, man. That'll get you. So we said we were gonna search for some pretty good sized sea trout on top of water. Boom, baby. Look at that. Look at that sea trout. God damn, that's a, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. I love it, guys. Beautiful fish. Just got here and maybe the second cast. And check this baby out. Look at that fish. Huh? That's a beautiful sea trout. We're gonna let her go, guys. We're not keeping anything today. I didn't bring a cooler. I'm not really wanting to eat these. These are probably breeders, so we're gonna let them go. Yeah, we got a good old jack. I have to get my pliers for that one. The pliers! Love it. Love it when I don't forget it. Hate it when I do forget it. Check it out. Old Jack Cravel. Shallow water tunas. All right guys, so this area here is producing and uh, just to give you a little bit of an idea was as to what's going on, there's a huge school of bait right at the distance and I'm casting towards the school of bait and I'm working the bait back from the school of bait. Um, because in my mind, I could almost tell that the fish are staged right up against the, uh, the school of bait, just targeting them. So if you cast into the school and work the, the, the bait back out from the school, it almost looks like an injured bait that's uh, separated from the school and they will attack that. Guys, I found a school of redfish. Huge, huge. I got one. Oh. Check this out. Oh. That is a nice redfish. Look at that thing. Holy shit, dude. Dude, he is huge, huge. And the best part about it it was in a school of like 50, 60 fish. So I think they're still around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find them again. I don't know, they, they were somewhere out here, but I'm gonna try to find them again, see if we can get another one, guys. Look at this beast. Wow. Guys, I got another one on. Monster. Oh, oh shit. <sighs> Dude, Dude. my other camera failed. So this is kind of a, just a kind of emergency thing. I, my other camera ran out of batteries. And I got this massive school of redfish with some monsters in it, man. Holy shit. You know, when, when you're in a hurry and trying to get things done, everything goes wrong. My lure got wrapped in the propeller. Ah. 
This is just a monster. Holy shit. Ah, damn. Another beautiful redfish. It's just a massive school. They're all around here. Anyways, this is what I love about living in Southwest Florida, guys. This is just it right here, you know? This is in our backyards. And it's just beautiful. I mean, this thing is massive. Oh my God, that's a beast. Come on, guy. Come on, buddy. Come on, please, please, please. No, 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 no. God, they're so, so strong. They're such strong fighting fish, man. Unbelievable how strong these guys are. Come on, come on, buddy. Ah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Another nice one, guys. Another beautiful fish. Another beautiful one. Ah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby. The big boys. These are the big boys. Yep. These guys just cruising the flat. And uh, just a big school of them, you know? They're just massive. Look at this thing. Holy shit. Anyways, our water quality has been. Just phenomenal, just phenomenal. And every, every, as a result of that, this is what we're getting, guys. Look at this thing. <laughs> what a beautiful animal, unbelievable. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Freaking gorgeous fish. Oh my God. He's, he's, I think he's over slot. I don't know. That's just a massive red. Just a beautiful, beautiful red. Guys, next month I get my charter captain's license. Hopefully I'll be in the water and I'll be able to bring you guys to do this. So if you guys want to come out here with EPC Charters, it's going to be the name of the business. If you guys want to come out here and join me with the fun, more than welcome to, man. Check this out. This is redfish number two. Just a beautiful, beautiful red. And we're going to see if we can get some more. We'll let this guy go for now. See if I can get the camera. Look at this thing. Look at this. What a freaking beast. Come on, buddy. There he goes. There he goes. Wow. Oh, <laughs> guys. Dude, that's two monster redfish, monster. And the school is somewhere around here. I gotta, I gotta find that school again. I need a third fish, man. This is just unbelievable. Wow, so much fun. Look at that. Look at that, Look at that. school of redfish. Look at that. Look at that. Hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds of redfish. Right. Here we go again. Dude, I am like going crazy. I'm going crazy. Oh my God. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Holy shit, man, look at that. Oh man, another beautiful redfish. Holy shit, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. What what a beautiful fish. I see I see some movement. I'm not sure if it's them, but I'll go ahead and cast over there and see what happens. Whoa.
anyways it's been so crazy i haven't even been able to tell you guys what i'm using so i got a uh doa uh doa cow i think it's called or no no i'm sorry it's just a doa swim bait nothing crazy it's on a jig head uh, it's got a little bit of action to it and honestly i was using the top water lure but i got broken off by a massive fish which i suspect that it was a huge bluefish because it cut me off right away so i didn't even get a chance to fight it was just like a boom and it was gone so god man <sighs> gotta catch my breath holy shit, man i've had a crazy 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 experience here with these redfish i haven't seen a school of red like that for a long long time you know i mean it was just literally like hundreds of them hundreds of them just cruising wow that was epic that was so beautiful that was so so beautiful i can't believe it that is just great news you know as you guys may or may not know we were devastated by red tide and we had red tide for bad red tide for a number of years and that took a took a pretty hard beating on our snook reds trouts so it's been it's been years since but um, what they decided to do was um, they closed down the uh, the reds, the snooks, and now they just now opened the sea trout. So it's been closed for a while. But in all honesty, I haven't I haven't seen a school of redfish that big in probably five years. Five years between the red tide and the Okeechobee discharges, um, it's just been been real tough on these fish so <clears throat> back in the days i mean we used to have those schools all the time and at least from my my personal experience and you know i i don't fish as much as other people do you know they maybe they've seen schools but schools that big they're definitely rare they're definitely rare and it's fresh in the area because i don't see any guides any charter captains targeting that so they have no idea that they're here but anyways, let's see uh, if we could get into some more fish, maybe some more reds. Uh, we'd like to catch a snook or two. So we'll continue targeting uh, the school if we can find it. If not, we're going to move off. And uh, we're going to go find something to do. So anyways, it was just awesome seeing that big old school of redfish. Man, I haven't seen a school of redfish like that in years, years. And to see that water just red, I mean, literally red, jam-packed with freaking monster reds. It was just unbelievable. It really was. What a great experience. <laughs> Jesus. I am so glad I came out today, man. I got a full week packed to work, and today was the only day that I could make it out here and you know do a little bit of fishing. And I'll tell you what, boy, I was, I was so glad I did it because I was blown away by, by what I saw. And just real happy, real happy that they're making a comeback like that. I'm real happy that, you know, maybe the conservation has worked. Um, I know some people are against it. You know, I wasn't happy about the fact that they took away reds and you couldn't keep them and eat them. I'm, I'm a huge fan of eating redfish. Black and redfish is probably one of my favorite ways to eat fish and one of my favorite fish. Um, so, you know, of course I was disappointed, but I think these scientists when they do these things, they're basing it off of data, especially inshore. It's a lot easier to monitor in inshore than it is offshore. So maybe it is working. You know, maybe the conservation is working. Because I'll tell you what, after seeing the, you know, that big school of refuge today inside Pine Island, um, it just made, makes me happy. It, it makes me happy to know that the conservation efforts that are taking place are working and that's awesome that's awesome so you know my hats off to fwc and everybody that's involved in the conservation uh, effort because we you know at least i saw today a perfect example of what healthy beautiful redfish should look like they're just amazing fish. So anyways, guys, enough talk. I just want to say that uh, I appreciate each and every one of you that follows the channel. 
I appreciate each and every one of you that has become a subscriber to the channel. Um, stick around, guys. We got a lot more fishing coming. We got a lot more exploration videos coming. And um, we are going offshore. I think they're opening up the red snapper again. So if that is the case, then guess what? We're going to go offshore. We're going to target red snappers. We're going to go far. Um, I already got a bunch of friends that are on board to um, take some far trips. So stay tuned, guys. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Um, I wish you guys a great, great week. And don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good channel.